Hi, Carrie Cutler here, author of Math Positive Mindsets, Growing a Child's Mind Without Losing Yours. And Quinn, my first grader, and I are playing a fun activity today called Domino Parking Lots. All you need for this activity are some dominoes and a little work mat. And I've put the Black Line Masters for this work mat on my website, carriecutler.com, and you can print them off there for free. So how you play this game, Quinn, is you're gonna pick a domino out of the bag. Let's put these back in the bag. Okay. And you're gonna add together the pips and then you're gonna place them on your domino parking lot in the correct parking place. And I have from zero to 16 on this parking now lot. Now go first. You go first. Ooh. Tell us what's on it. A three, a three, um, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen is the total? So this was a 10 side, 10 on this side, plus three. So where are you gonna put this if it's a total of 13? In the 13 spot, good. Now my turn. Ooh, four, eight, nine, 10. I'm putting this in the 10 spot because it's 10 plus zero. Okay. Your turn. What did you get? I got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 11. 11. On one side, does it have how many on this side? 11. Uh, right? And then what's 12, on the other side? 13. <gasps> you got another 13. Oh my gosh. Okay, my turn. I got a 5 on this side and a 10 on this side. 15. 15. I'll put that in my 15 spot. Now you just keep playing until you've used up all the dominoes. The winner of the game is whoever has the tallest tower on one of their parking Three. lots. This is really fun to play. It's great practice Seven. for subitizing, Seven. which is recognizing the number of pips without counting them. That only works up to a certain number though. You Three. can see there's a lot of pips on this other side. It's difficult to subitize them. So children are going to have to do something called chunking, which is looking at parts, parts, and creating the whole from that. It's really good practice for counting, good practice for subitizing, good practice for addition, and a great way to build math positive mindsets with your kids. Thanks.